Yo, what's going on guys? We are here today with another showdown live. This time I'm going to be using a team my buddy Megastar Universe passed me. Uh, he had a bunch of teams. He said I could use them for a live, so I'm going to use them. So, shoutouts to him. If it doesn't work, it's his fault. <laughs> I'm just kidding. People love to blame team the team not working when they use anyone else's team. So, uh, my opponent has a pretty cool team. I don't know what the sets are. Gyarados can sweep, definitely, I think. Um, but of course, we gotta get rid of the Venusaur and the Rotom Wash before we can do anything. And we have SD, <coughs> Garchomp, and, uh, that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick, that's pretty sick. I'm thinking he trans a good lead because... Uh, it leads off, it matches up pretty well against everything. I mean, depending on his team, I think that his, uh, typically the builds goes Lander Assist Scarf, but, um, oh, we're Salic. <laughs> this innovation. Typically, Lander Assist are Scarf. Um, so I'm laid off with Tran. As, uh, we get a nice, nice little lead here. Um... I can go for rocks. I don't think he'd stay into Mega Evolve unless he's like Spore or something like that, which could be problematic. But we do have Lottie in the background. I don't think he'd risk this because, like I said, uh, Gyarados actually puts in a good amount of work, and the things that we need weaken are his Rotom Wash and his Venusaur. So I think we're in a good position here just to get rocks up. I'm thinking that he's probably going to most likely his Rotom Wash. <coughs> Uh, that's the only thing that really makes sense here. Um, yeah, because Heatran literally devours his team too. So keeping Heatran pretty healthy is going to be key. As it goes into his Latios, um, interesting play, I guess. As he's probably most likely going to defog here. I would like to Magma Storm to weaken this, but. I think the better play is Clefable, mainly because I don't want, um, I could definitely double back out to my, to my Heatran. If I was Toxic, maybe I could stay in on this thing, but that's not the case. Uh, what I'm going to do is just throw out a Moonblast first. Yeah, just in case he wanted to go to Lando for expecting the, um, if he was expecting the, whatchamacallit. Uh, if he was expecting me to click, um, draw on a brain, brain fart. T wave, T wave, of course, since my Heatran did have rocks. He goes into his Heatran here. Um, fine play, bro. Fine play. As I can go into my, my Garchomp as he goes for a taunt. Huh. Okay, then. Uh, what I'll do is click Dragon Claw, I think. As he should go to Rotom, and like I said, I do want the Rotom Weekend. Ooh, that's some good damage. Some good, good damage. And I'm just going to go into my Clefable. If he wants to vote switch out, that's fine by me. As the next time his Heatran does come in, I'll probably T-Wave it as he goes for the Volt Switch. Good play on his part. Though, like I said, uh, I don't really need Garchomp. I Actually, I don't think that was a good play. Mainly because, like I said... If I was bad and just wanted to sack my chomp to just weaken the Rotom Wash, he would have been in a really terrible position. And he would have been pressured to keep his Venusaur really healthy. So I think he should have definitely hard switched <clears throat> his Rotom there. And here, like I guess we're just going to throw up these rocks, throw up these bands. As he goes back out to Lottie. Um... <laughs> HP Ice. This is an interesting set too. It's sub Salic. <laughs> but, um, let's see. I don't really need this thing weakened. Uh, go back out to Clefable here as he goes for the Earthquake, trying to catch me. Good God. So, here I'm definitely going to throw out a T Wave as he stays in. Did not think he would make that play there. But I'm free to just soft boil up. If he wants to defog, fine by me. Well, let me see if 
no, keeping this healthy is better, just in case Weavile gets out of hand. Um, this is fine play. And uh, I think I can click T-Wave once more. Trying to catch either Heatran or his <clears throat> Venusaur. So let's see what he goes into. Yeah, he does go into the Tran, as I thought he would go into. And... Um, Go back out to the Chompers. <clears throat> As he doubles into Weavile. Um, fine play, dude. Fine play. Um, <laughs> he's most likely going to knock off. Let's see. Because we can win with um, Latios once. I guess I should have declawed the Rotom. I'll probably do that next time. As I gonna, I'm gonna go to Clef here, as he should. Yeah, they go for Icicle Crash. Um, I'm just gonna soft build up. Hopefully he doesn't flinch, or that's not a high roll. But I guess his best play is to definitely go for the flinch. I wouldn't be mad about that. As uh, he goes into the Venusaur here. Um, I'm just gonna Moonblast because I don't think he's gonna Sledge Bomb. Yeah, and we're able to catch the Lando on the Switch, and we hit that pretty hard. Um, <clears throat> you can definitely just Moon. I mean, you turn here. Yeah, and this Moonblast here is just fine. <clears throat> As he goes into the Heatran, fine by me. Uh, I can definitely. And uh, we are slowly healing up our Clefable. I'm just going to go to my Garchomp and click Dragon Claw as he gets up his rocks. Um, Dragon Claw is just the all around best play, I think. Uh, if he wants to sack this, then literally I click Magma Storm for free. So I don't think he would sack it. As he goes into the Rotom Wash, and um, this is looking out pretty swell for us because, like I said, Gyarados is going to be the thing that is going to. Win us the game, so one of the counters or one of the nuisances to him, to our team, is going to be down. Um, I actually want to make an aggressive play and Dragon Claw here. <laughs> uh, do I need to make that play? Because let's play patiently. Uh, I was going to declaw too. Oh man. But this is fine. Um, Let's see. Hmm. I'm just going to go with Tran. I could have stayed in, but I figured this is fine. <laughs> this is fine, too. Um, I'm definitely not going to stay in. Um, can Thunderous win this game? I doubt Thunderous is going to win, so I'm just going to go into that. As he's probably most likely just going to U-turn as he goes for... Was not expecting that play there. And um, I'm just going to double to Latios because he should go to Venusaur. And I'm just going to get a Defog off. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, just going to Defog here. As he goes into Weavile, he could have Pursuit. But uh, I'm still going to hard switch here. Okay, yeah, he gets me. <clears throat> and here we can go into our I'm just gonna moon blast as he goes into Heatran. Uh so now rocks will be able to stay up which is kind of annoying. But I can go to my Garchomp here and um kind of pressure his team a bit as he does get parried. Here I'm just gonna earthquake if he wants to go into his Lando fine play. Yeah so the Heatran is gone. I guess he predicted me to over predict there. And he does forfeit. Where he gets got a decent amount of points. We're going to get on to the next one. Purple Raven 24. Has a pretty cool sand team. I guess it's Mega Slowbro. No, it's going to be Mega Garchomp. So I got to be careful with that. Because that thing is powerful under the sun. Under the sun. Um, or under the sand. What I say sun? Rip. Um, <clears throat> Gyarados, once again, 
was looking mighty threatening this match. Uh, we do have to, however, pay great caution to the Ferrothorn. Um, T-Tar could definitely be an issue, I think, depending on what it is. I think our Garchomp will definitely catch him off guard. I think Garchomp's definitely going to put in some a good amount of work here. Heatran's not going to be as good this match. Not really, but uh, we'll see what we can do here. And see what he wants to lead off with. I don't know what he would want to lead off with. <clears throat> Thunderous is kind of not that good this match. Mainly because he doesn't have Focus Blast. If he had Focus Blast, I think it would have put in... Like, Thunderous could definitely 6-0 in itself. If we, either, if we had Focus Blast for this match. But uh, he doesn't know that. <laughs> so we'll see where this takes us. Uh, I'll pause until he makes a move. Okay, so he leads off with his Tyranitar. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just SD up as he decides to stay in. Is he ice? <sighs> I don't necessarily agree with that play because he didn't know what kind of chomp I was. And Earthquake definitely kills him. But I... <laughs> I didn't see... In what world Slowbro was in a play there? You could say that I made an aggressive play turn one, but um, he was not living Earthquake. He shouldn't assume what my set is until it's been revealed. And this is like key, key, um, key example of why laddering is so frustrating at times. But uh, what we can do here is go to my Gyarados and then um, pivot to Heatran, and then we try to get rocks up to get something going on. Uh, yeah, this this is so sucky because Garchomp was a humongous threat against him. Uh, it sucks that it is definitely down at this moment. A senseless play too, man. Who? Why would you stay in? Like you have a slow bro, and like he, <laughs> like no matter how much bulk he is, like I would have killed him there. And then he sacks his sand, and then he goes into his tornadoes on a Heatran. <laughs> <laughs> like, th does he not want to go to his slow bro? I don't get it. Um, superpower or knockoff coming my way. So I think... No, I can't go into that because he's going to get a U-turn. And he gets momentum. <sighs> we can possibly win this with Clefable. What I need to do is kill the slow bro slow. I mean, kill the, um, the t extra drill. And I think we should be in a fine position. Um, let's see. Let's see what he has. He has knockoff. Uh, hopefully we can hit. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. I can tell this is going to be a great game. Uh, as he knocks off again. And I miss again. Yes. Sweet. Sweet, dude sweet and then he finally gets some type of sense into his into his mind and he switches out brings in the t-tar <sighs> the sense that play makes um since i'm trying to go win this with um with my whatchamacallit <sighs> ferrothorn is going to come out here gotta go back out in the heatran I don't know why he's not going to his damn slow bro. <laughs> it's honestly pissing me off. <laughs> but um just gonna magma storm. He finally makes a, a sensible play. Not to be rude. <laughs> but uh here let's see. Uh, his T-Tar is at that much amount of range. We can go to Clefable here, and this is going to force his, um, his x to come out, which I actually want to happen. Um, because he most likely want to, want to spin. And if he goes into, if he goes into his, oh, he's fat drill. Why does he have so much? Jesus Christ. Um, hmm.
let me see. Hmm. Let me think about this. This is my. This is gonna be my win con. I have to. I just gotta hope he's not combine bro. Uh, I should beat these here. Uh, if Sand is gone, like his Garchomp would be a threat. Like, uh, like Thunders would win if. Uh, I guess I should have just Earthquake to turn one. Uh, that is gonna be my fault. So right now I'm in a pretty compromising position, I think. And I gotta get Gyarados weakened, which I don't want. Yeah, it's, I, I gotta go to Gyarados here. Um, hmm, let's see, he goes for the Rapid Spin. Uh, let's just go for... I don't think he'd try hard here. He's at minus one. Because I'm in the back. I have to make I have to make plays. But he necessarily doesn't. Um, so yeah, we just go here on this. And he's definitely not going to stay in here. Um... What I can do is try to get Nap Rocks. Um, if he stays in here, I swear. <laughs> like, this is literally not. Oh, well, this doesn't matter much. The Ferrothorn is not that much of an issue. It's more of uh, getting rid of the Extra Jewel, which we are slowly getting rid of. I have to get Rocks off my side, but he has the Tyranitar that's still alive, and it's kind of an issue. He went hard to Extra Jewel! <laughs> This is what I mean. Like he's not thinking. Like, cause if I if I magma storm there, in no shape or form was this ever the play. Like if I magma storm there, trying to get rid of your Ferrothorn, I just won with um with my. <sighs> That's insane, dude. When you try your best to just throw the game away, uh, I do not understand that play do not once whatsoever that was such a terrible play <laughs> um let me see i'm gonna double back out to this thing <sighs> unfortunate if i literally earthquake that tyranitar turned one i just would have been in a better position i believe as uh, we hit this here, uh, let's see, he's gonna be at 40. Um, nothing else kills. Nothing else kills. Um, he goes for a slack off. That's fine. Um, I'm assuming he's gonna go into his. I'm just gonna moonblast as he stays in. I don't know why. Trying to catch something. I don't know what he was trying to catch, but. What I'll do here is go to Thunderous. Um, as he goes into his extra drill, he should fear Focus Blast and not stay in. Uh, I mean, I think that's a sensible play. What I can do is sub up here and then Nasty Plot. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. He goes Tornadus, and I think I could just click Thunderbolt here. Tornadus is not really an issue. Uh, it's more of the Astro Drill, which he was willing to sack for no apparent reason, just to show that he's predicting. Hi, <laughs> unfortunate, unfortunate indeed. Um, he goes back out to his drill. Um, I don't know if he has Rock Slide. But what I'm gonna do is HP Ice, like I said. Why is this thing so, like, fat? <laughs> but uh, we're just going to Nasty Plot as he has Return. I don't understand why this thing's so bulky. Hmm. Like, the way he's taking these hits, unless I don't have EVs on these, on these Mons, I'm positive I do. Let me see. Why is he taking these hits so well? He's like max. Let me calc. I should have calc this a while ago. Excadrill. Unless he's like a salt vest or something. 
OU, Choice Scar, Bulky Spinner, Clefable. Yeah, and that's how much we're doing to this thing. Escadrille, Scarf, where it should be doing about that much. So, like, I don't think he's max speed. If he is, then I just got played. Okay, so he lets the biggest threat to hit my team die. <laughs> I will take this. Um, let me see here. He can definitely just Dragon Claw. So what I'll do here is... Hmm. This is still nice to keep. But, uh, let's see. If I'm him, he has no reason not to Dragon Claw. I'm thinking of pivoting to Clefable into my Lottie. And then back out to Clefable. But I'm thinking, is that necessary? Is it? Let's, sack, let's just sack Gera. Because he'll be at minus one. And that lets me take his hits a lot better. Because yeah, he's definitely mega. Yeah, okay. So we can go to Clefable and um, I believe we can start calm minding up. Uh, what's unfortunate is that his hits are going to be doing so much more seeing that he has the freaking Tyranitar, which I should have killed t right off turn one, dude. I should have. But he goes into his Ferrothorn. I'm just going to boost up and stall him out of Gyro Balls. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're just going to stall him out of Gyros. That's going to be the play, and we can possibly turn this back after being like in the backseat the entire time. Um, yeah, so we should be fine here. Just going to stall him out of, uh, hopefully he doesn't have Power Whip as well, because then that could be, <sighs> that is annoying. So let's see, Calm Mind here, if he gets a crit, let's Calm Mind up. Power whips once more. Okay, so let's soft bold here. <sighs> Man, I, of course I'm facing the one dude that has. Um. <laughs> okay, few did not crit me. Uh, of course I am playing with crits. Hopefully he does not get them. Um, yeah, I'm gonna soft bold here just to stay out of crit range. I get the one dude that has gyro ball and freaking and freaking power whip man what what is, what the, <laughs> such bad luck man and uh, the scary thing is like he can crit me and I need my soft bullets too man I really do I need my soft bullets if he can miss a power whip that would be amazing but he seems to be hitting them all um I can possibly win this with um, how many Jar Balls does he have left? Let me see. Salt pulled up once more. Let's see what he goes for. If he goes for the Whippers, I think I can just start Moon Blasting. See how much that's doing. 43. And he finally misses. Thank you. And, uh,. Calm mind up here once more. Goes for this last final gyro ball, so he can't crit us. <sighs> I wish I had um, what you gonna call it? <laughs> He's why did he have to have both, man? That's so annoying. I don't know if I'll be able to take enough hits, but if we, I don't think I'll be able to. Okay, he misses. Thank goodness. And here. Oh, I'm just click Moon Blast. Just move. I'm just gonna click this move twice. There's no reason to mess around. I could stall out, try to hope that he misses, but I think just clicking Moon Blast is the best play. So yeah, we leave this exchange with 79% of health. Um, if he goes to T-Tar, uh, I think the play is to just Moon Blast. So he goes for stone and gets a crit. <sighs> so you play badly and you get bailed out by a crit. 
So what I can do here is just go into my Heatran, sack that, and then click Draco. Oh man, this was a hard match to, to win. So we just click Draco, and please lord don't let me miss. We had to fight hard for this match. Um, this is not over though. If he is Calm Mind Slowbro, this is miserable. Yeah, he is Calm Mind. Oh my goodness, man. Let's see. I gotta go to Lottie and just get hope I get a crit, to be honest. I don't think I can do anything else. Um, what put me in a bad position was the fact that he... I don't, I don't think that was a bad play by my part. It was definitely... Um, I don't think I think Sam was way more important to him than than uh, trying to get rid of the Garchomp, which would have just killed his T-Tar right off the bat. But in this this situation here, I have to go for a crit. Um, nothing else I can really do. Uh, I mean, this was a hard-fought match, despite the obstacles put in our way. Sound like Jambat out here? Goes for another CM. Um, I'm just crit fishing, crit fishing, but I doubt I'm gonna get it. Um, as he, as he, um, he's giving me multiple opportunities to go for a crit. Um, I guess he doesn't think I have skull uh, recover, but I definitely do. So I'm just gonna roost here, and then just try to get a freaking crit. As he doesn't burn me, uh, it's doing nothing. Like I said, we're just going for a crit, really. If he doesn't burn here, I could roost it up again, but he does get the burn. Um, uh, this is the last chance, and I doubt we're going to get it. Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to be this match. Uh, I honestly don't regret my play of not earthquaking. I definitely stand by it. Um, yeah, it's psychic. Oh... Oh, if I knew that, I might have tried to... Nah, I couldn't win that one, because... Whatchamacallit, I already wasted all my... My, um... Soft boils on the damn Ferrothorn, which had Power Whip and Gyro Ball. So, we get Mary Gyarados' team as well. Um, our Gyarados can potentially sweep the game. He's got so many dark types though. So many dark types. Um, what's a good lead against this guy? I guess. Thunderous leads off very well against him. Is he leads off with Weavile? Boy. <laughs> uh, that was not a good lead for me. As he just knock off. I am just going to throw out a Moonblast like Clefable actually bodies him. He has nothing for Clefable. Nothing. Just gonna boom blast here as he goes to the Bisharp. Hopefully we don't get Ace Attack drop. Thank the Lord. Um, the issue here is, does he knock off or does he Iron Head? Because I can go into, I'd expect him to Iron Head here. I don't know, because knock off, I can understand if he knocks off though, is what I'm saying. Because... Um, as he doubles to Weavile, um, I didn't think that play was to each their own, my G. Um, I'm feeling a pursuit here, and is he, is he banded on this team? Oh, he knocked off again. Fuck. Why would you make that double to knock off again? Like, if you're gonna play that aggressive, you would, I would think you'd pursuit there. Otherwise, I just go back out to my Cafable. Hi. That's just what happened, guys. We're gonna soft boil it up here. Um, just going to Moonblast. Definitely think we should be still be fine. Thunderous definitely would have put in a ma massive amount of work against this guy. Uh, that earthquake is doing a bit too much. A bit too much. I'm gonna go to Gera. As um, he might U-turn, which would be a pretty decent play. Um, if 
I had something to hit the other, the Gyarados itself, I would go for it. But seeing that I don't, um, I'm just going to crunch as he... That doesn't die? <sighs> I... <laughs> I don't get it. How did his earthquake do so much? But yeah, crunch. I, uh, I guess I overestimated. Um, overestimated the power of of Gyarados as it goes to Bisharp here. Um, that works for me because I am Foster. Um, I really want to get rocks up. Uh, we're at max speed. We're gonna get. Oh my gosh, dude! Hi. I don't know why that made sense to him though. I'm gonna go to Garchomp here, as he should sucker punch. Um, and we can just earthquake. He's gonna sucker punch, but I can't really do nothing about it. Just let him sucker punch. We're gonna earthquake here. Um, do not understand that play at all, but whatever. I guess he just didn't want rocks up, but it went up regardless. Latios definitely becomes an issue, um, in which I might just stay in on it. You could definitely go to Weavile here, and I won't have an Ice Resist, and I'd probably have to let... I can go to Heatran, actually, on his Ice move. Yeah, I mean, Heatran's not doing much in this match regardless, but he goes for knockoff repeatedly... And I don't know why he's so fond of just clicking knockoff. But uh, this is an easy soft boil. If he wants anything he wants to go into. I could Moonblast right off the bat. But I don't think he would. He doesn't really have a good switch in me to be honest. Um, the Gyarados. I'd probably have to just Moonblast outright. Goes straight into Crawdaunt. Crawdaunt. Um, this is where I'm going to go to Lottie here. And then just drop a Draco. So it goes for the crab hammer that does a million of course and uh I'm just gonna draco if we can get rid of this this is one of these his hardest hitters on the team so i could definitely see him sacking lando there that was a good play on his part now he can definitely trap me with his weavile and uh we are in a let me see if we can get ready to sweep with uh i might try to sweep with um, it goes for Icicle Crash. Um, yeah, I gotta go to go to this and click Moonblast. Let me see. Uh, Gyarados is weakened. <sighs> that does a ton, and he flinches me. Oh my goodness, man. Hi. This is so stupid. We're gonna get out of here. Uh, how much time is left? 33 minutes. We can get another game going. Uh, uh, I'm gonna slow down a bit. I think I'm playing a bit too rushed, like I said. Uh, let's play it slowly. Um, we got a Trick Room team. That's no bueno. Do we have any Taunt users? Let me go to Garchomp. Cause yeah, normally it's Dianchi's that want to set up the Trick Room. I can just Earthquake. Um, it shouldn't be Focus Sash. I think they're typically Mental Herb. A play I can see him definitely make would to would be to go into his um, Cresselia. But I don't want to risk that. As how does he eat that, dude? This is this is this is. <laughs> I don't know how he ate that, but he ate. As he what was that? I think I think he's gonna have explosion. Um, let's see. Blast or soft boil. Let me soft boil up as he just goes for the explosion. 
Uh, we are at full health. Goes into Dragalge. Um, I'm gonna go to, to my into my Tran and then pivot to. Hopefully he doesn't predict that. Okay, cool. And then I can pivot to my um, Latios on a Focus Blast, which is what, I, is what I'm expecting to come out here. Yeah, so we do get that correctly. And um, I can think I could just dra Draco. I can honestly defog, but I'm going to Draco here. As he goes into Cresselia, that does nothing. Um, I think I can just defog here. Defog, as he's most likely just going to Trick Room. Um, fine by me, my dude. Fine by me. And let's think about this. I think Clefable is just the best play all around. Um, just in case he goes to Cronaut, nothing. Uh, Cronaut can't kill me, and I'm willing to Moonblast this to get to kill it. Now I am faster under Trick Room actually, so he should have definitely switched there. Um, not sure why. Min speed Clefable is it? Yeah, am I min speed? I don't know. I don't know what the heck. am. I? <laughs> Shout outs to Megastar, my G. He is min speed Clefable. <laughs> ah, my G, my G. We're gonna get one more game, and then we'll close this one off. Thanks, Sorcerer. Got a cool Magneton team, though he can't trap much of anything on my team. I am kind of missing T Wave. I mean, Toxic on the um on the uh, heat train. I think Toxic uh, ran through his team. But um, here we can lead off with, I think, Garchomp. I don't know what he would want to lead off with. Um, I think Garchomp should be fine. Like it, it puts in a good amount of work on everything. Let me see, Garchomp. I doubt it can Oko um, Tangrowth if it's defensive. Are you defensive? Plus two. Life Orb. Fire Fang. Yeah, that does that does absolutely zero. Zero damage. Um Definitely see him going into either uh Tangrowth or Lottie. Um I'll just Earthquake here the first time, see what he wants to do as this play is into Tangrowth. Um, don't know if he's... I'm just going to Fire Fang here, just keep this thing low as he is defensive. Uh, just in case he was Spore, I didn't want anything else going to sleep. Um, so what I can do here is... This might seem weird, but I want to pivot, because he should knock off, I would assume. I want to go to my Gyarados and pivot into... Um, because Gyarados can win. I just need to get rid of this Tangrowth. Taros, yeah, he does knock off here. And then I can pivot into my Heatran. Um, this is going to be so hard to kill without the Toxic, man. Without the Toxic. I probably could have set up here, actually, now that I think about it. But, uh, we're going to throw these bands up as he goes for the nice Volt Switch. And he is using the Magneton, which is pretty mag yeah, Magneton, which is pretty cool. Which I do like better as a Scarfer rather than um, Magnezone, which I've probably said it a lot before. But uh, it's just gonna be hard to win. Like, I, it's gonna be hard to kill. The Why do people keep bringing Latios in on Heatran? It's not a switch, and I, I don't. On, I honestly don't understand that. Only on the ladder you'll find plays like this, where you have a Gastrodon, you have a, you have another. I, I just won't ever understand that. Even if you have Surf, why would you risk a Toxic just to to hard switch in there? I don't get it. It goes into Heatran. Um, hmm. I'd assume he. Taunt or go for rocks. Yeah. So here. I 
either earth power or hmm. and I don't know how I'm gonna break this team man seems gonna be really hard to break just go for the earth power as he stays in Sax is heat tramp for no reason okay dude <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, Clayble's gonna be my play of choice. Uh, what I'm gonna do is calm mind up, and uh, we're gonna see how much Flash Can is doing. Just going to soft bold here. I think Clefable might just be able to wrap this game up. Yeah, it's doing zero, and. Uh, we're just gonna calm mine once more but of course knowing me we're just gonna get um, crit or something along those lines but I'm gonna stay positive I've been down I've been like depressed <laughs> the last two lives that I put up saying I want to play but I'm gonna be positive here we're just gonna calm mind up and then top bull this is gonna put a, a, a huge amount of pressure on him uh, I believe and this time I'm gonna try to break the core of gastrodon and uh, tangrowth Mm, seeing I do have sleep fodder in my so he does go to Gastrodon um, I can just start moon blasting uh, just in case he is cursed I just and I am faster so nice to see uh, yeah so he is cursed um, I'm what I'm gonna do here is calm mine this one time so I will be able to two hit KO him comfortably uh, getting rid of Gastrodon puts a lot of uh, leaves a lot of leeway for my thunderous and he's not even able to to a KO me so Moonblast is pretty damn free here and we will be able to get rid of the magnet he goes for curse that was not the play my G so yeah now I'm at a pretty healthy I won't even be surprised if he clicked X but he he's an admirable opponent he's gonna stay in let me see if Pinsir can kill me it probably does cause Pinsir is strong as hell Pinsir um Clefable Oh, you magic garb. Return to 62 to 77. I'm literally out of range. Yeah, so I'm just going to kill this here. Um, yeah, and he doesn't even kill, so this should kill. It doesn't kill, however... I'm thinking of if I should keep this. I'd go to guard chomp here. And he should kill himself. Yeah. As a, yeah, we doubled down. That was just perfect because I didn't want that in on its own. Um, let's see what he wants to go into. He is fully defensive. Um, yeah, he goes into Lottie. I'm just going to drop a Draco as the Lottie goes down. Um, we should be in a pretty good position to win this match, I believe. Um, he will be able to Volt Switch freely, but that doesn't really bother me too much, as he does forfeit. Um, so we're back up to 1652. We literally gained no points, but we are climbing into the 1700s. I'm going to end it here. It's 43 minutes, and I don't like to keep these super long. But thanks for the team, Megastar Universe. I think I, the, the third game, I was definitely playing way too rushed. And I was getting a little bit frustrated. That's going to be it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.